Hi, I'm Hans Wilhelm. This is the second video in the Life Explained series on the topic of reincarnation. In my first video I explained how reincarnation works. And in this video I would like to explore with you why this teaching of reincarnation is no longer taught in our churches or religious institutions. Did you know that more than 50% of people in this world believe in reincarnation? Yes, even here in America. Our founding fathers, Franklin, Jefferson, Washington, all shared an enthusiasm for reincarnation. And so did at least a dozen of our presidents, if not more. Well, as also the captains of industry like Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, Paul Getty, and many others. What many people do not know is that the knowledge of the re-embodiment of the soul was also known to the early Christians. It's mentioned in the Bible several times. In Matthew and Mark we find passages of how Jesus asks the question, who do the people say that I am? And his disciples tell him that people think he is John the Baptist, Elijah, Jeremiah, or one of the great prophets who has come back as Jesus. And in Matthew, Jesus actually explains twice to some of his disciples that John the Baptist has been the prophet Elijah in a previous lifetime. Why would Jesus teach reincarnations to his disciples? Jesus was a Jew and so were all his disciples. And for many Jews at the time, reincarnation was a fact of life. It was mentioned in the ancient mystical text of the Kabbalah that teaches the soul cycle, also called the Gilga Neshamot. Even today we have several Jewish denominations that believe in reincarnation, like the Hasidics, the Shabbatniks and other Orthodox Jewish groups. We know from the writings of the old church fathers like Oregon that the knowledge of reincarnation was widespread in Christianity in the first few centuries. But why is this important component of Christ's teaching no longer mentioned in our churches of today? What happened? To find the answer to this question, we have to go back to the 6th century, to the Eastern Roman Empire. You see here the Mediterranean, Italy, you see Greece, Turkey and the Middle East. Now, the Eastern Roman Empire at the time was ruled by a very powerful emperor called Justinian I. He thought himself as the supreme ruler of the church and the pope and even made it a law that nothing could be done in the church contrary to the emperor's will and command. He was a real despot and to deal with the general war situation in the Eastern Roman Empire and the threatening danger of a domestic political religious war in what is today the Palestine area, he commanded that everybody accepted his style of orthodox faith, which included the removal of the teachings of reincarnation. He wanted everybody to believe in one single lifetime and that the priests, or better the church, are the mediators for the salvation of the people. Think about it. You could only go to heaven via the church. It was a powerful tool to control the people. So it was in the year 543 in Constantinople, which of course today is Istanbul, that the teachings of reincarnation was going to be banned because of pressure by Emperor Justinian I. It happened during the Synod of the Eastern Church, a gathering of bishops. But Pope Vigilius knew it was against Christ's teachings and he strongly opposed the emperor and refused to sign this ban. But nobody can contradict an emperor for long. So, ten years later, on the morning of December 8th, 553, under severe pressure by the emperor, the pope finally relented and made it a law at the General Council in Constantinople. It wasn't even discussed at the council. Now, but this caused a big problem for the church. They no longer could explain the basic questions of life. Where do we come from? Why are we here? And where do we go? So they had to invent totally new dogmas to fill the gap of reincarnation. For instance, they came up with things like the original sin, the creation of the soul at the time of conception, mortal sin, the Judgment Day, purgatory and eternal damnation. None of this was taught by Jesus. 
But Justinian I didn't care. After all, he was the ruler of the church and the pope, and he made the rules. Unfortunately, all Christians' denominations that later split off from the Catholic Church, like the Protestants, the Baptist, Anglican Church, and thousand others, never bothered correcting this fundamental flaw. But the knowledge of reincarnation was never forgotten. It was always taught in the educated and secret societies, and it is now reaching a new revival in the Western world. Today there are more and more Christians who know about this law and are once again willing to live according to the original teachings of Christ. Now I hope you are inspired to explore more on this subject. And maybe you want to watch related videos like the one on the law of karma and how karma works.